These are some of the things you can use for fixing the uh, whirly gig onto the post. As I mentioned, that's a, a rod out of a Hoover vacuum cleaner, an upright vacuum cleaner. It's in the agitator. It's quite useful because it's got a thread already on the end, a quarter inch thread, uh, which makes the job quite easy. So that's one thing you can use. Um, you can use, as again, as I mentioned, a bolt. This is a five and a half inch uh, coach bolt. And uh, you just chop the end, chop the head off it, and you can hammer that into the pole, and you've got a useful thread already on the end. Um, that's a bit of copper tubing you can use so that a, a rod will fit down the middle of that and act as a bearing to keep the thing running smoothly. There's various sizes of this you can get. Any bits of tube and that, it's always worth keeping if you make whirly kicks because they come in handy for one thing or another. Um, and you've got the six inch nail. Um, they're very useful because it's about the right size, it's good and strong. You've got a sharp point on the end. Now, people do use these for different, different ways. Um, in my case, I think what I'd do, I'd chop the head off it and use the point to bash it into the pole and then find a method of fixing fixing the thing on. Um, you could drill a hole through, or if you've got a tap and die set, which I, I often do, is just tap a thread on the end there and use a, a normal nut. But if you don't have a tap and die thread, obviously you can't do that. I mean, you could, in principle, actually just put a hole through the whirly gig and bash the nail through the whirly gig and into the pole, but you'd have a job if you wanted to take it off again then, wouldn't you? But you could use uh, that. Some people, what they do, they, um, I can't find the camera. They, there, I've got it. <laughs> they use the point as a pivot and they actually put a, like a tube in the whirly gig body and, a, and, a, and like a ball bearing or something in the end and they just shove it on the top and that acts as a pointer and keep, allows the thing to turn like a ball bearing on the end. Um, personally, I've never used that method, but I know some people do to use it as a pivot point. You can find various bits of metal. This is a piece I took out of a printer that I kept. Quite useful because it's already got a, a little circlip on the end look, which you could use. In fact, it's got a circuit groove on both ends. But again, you could knock that into the pole and use a circlip to retain it. Obviously, you need a washer under it. It's not very thick. It would do for a small one, but you wouldn't want to put too heavy a whirly gig on there because it would bend. Um, you could use a bit of screwed rod again. Um, so you've got the thread on there, you could bash that into the wood, just just uh, grind a point on the end, probably easier. Hammer it into the wood, cut it off the required length and you can put a nut on there. You would have a problem as the thing rotated on the whirly gig that the threads would possibly wear it. But you'd need a sleeve or something, you could use a bit of a metal tubing or a piece of like this pipe, this gas tubing which probably won't fit, that's too small for that, but any sort of sleeving around to protect it. You could actually use that, it wouldn't matter. Um, there's bits of Meccano rod, they're a bit thin really for, for whirly gigs, I don't think they're strong enough actually. I use them within the whirly gigs, but not for the, the post. Um, these are various brackets that you can use these, if you say so you've got a nice centre hole there, and you can use that um, on the top and bottom of the whirly gig for where the rod comes out like this and go, it'll, it'll um, stop it wearing the wood away. Um, you, you, you're better off with this angle one and cut it off because the, the straight ones are often the holes are, are not set in a line and they're more awkward to use. You don't have to buy these, I mean you can make them just a bit of metal and drill three holes in it and do the same thing or in some cases I've used a bit of Meccano as a plate on the top like that just to protect the, you know, for the rod to come through. You can make the hole bigger obviously. There's a little metal plate that I've kept off something that will do for a, the top of whirly gig. You just put two screws in and then the, the rod will come out through there and that will act as a bearing surface. The other way I've done it is, strangely enough, it's a bit over elaborate. This is a ball bearing out of an old Hoover Junior uh, motor. And it's it's got a decent ball bearing inside there and obviously four useful holes. And what I've done on, on the one outside, I think I showed it you when I was talking about the poles. I've actually screwed that to the the bottom. I put, I put a rod through. I think I used, I can't remember, because so while I did it, I found a rod that fitted perfectly. And then I, I sort of riveted the end over somehow. I may have put a nut on, I'm sure, not sure, but it fitted perfectly. And, and I was able to screw that onto the bottom of the whirly gig, the bearing onto the whirly gig, so it acted as a nice ball bearing so that the thing would spin round in the wind nicely. And, and that seemed to do the job, but it was a bit, it's a bit elaborate. Obviously it does, makes it a good uh, good job having a ball bearing in there, but it was a bit more fiddly to do, and I'm not sure I'd do another one. I've often said how useful Meccano is for 
making whirly gigs and I just thought I'd show these little clips and rods. These are Meccano rods, they're available in various different lengths and they're ideal for arms, moving arms on figures and things and these little spring clips are, are brilliant as well for doing the job. Obviously you need to put a washer on first and then you simply poke the little clip on and just press it tight. If you're familiar with Meccano you'll know all about them but you may not. Um, marvellous little things. There they are and that will do the job and they're easier to take on and off. I mean they will go rusty eventually unless you paint them but as I say they're dirt cheap and they're very handy. Very useful for holding arms and things on the figures. I was doing the whirly gigs I thought I'd just show you my whirly gig drawer. This is just a drawer I keep specifically for bits and pieces that I think might come in useful for making whirly gigs. There's all sorts of bits and pieces in here. There's a bit of plastic tubing which might do as a, you can cut it off and use as collars. There's bits of metal, copper pipe, which will act as bearings or, or collars. Again, you know, if you want a spacer on something, it will do for that. There's little chrome fittings. I don't know what these are off. Some plumbing fitting or something. They're only plastic, but they've got a nice shiny finish, and I thought they might come in useful to stick on the end of a fan or something, like, say, on the end of there, like that, look. So you can have a nice little shiny fan end, and being plastic, it won't uh, corrode or anything. It cost nothing, it was going to be thrown away, and I just thought oh, I'll chuck it in the drawer for for another time. There's a piece off a firework, a conical sort of cap that I thought was rather... I can't find the camera now. It's a job when you're trying to... Oh, it's this way, sorry. I've got it now. I thought that might do as a little piece to put on the end of a fan, perhaps, or something. Or you could use it on a top of one as a little attractive top. Anyway, it was it was only off a firework, and I was going to throw it away. So... I'll keep all pieces of bits of Meccano and rod and stuff in there ready for another whirly gig. All sorts of bits of rod. This is a little tin of collars that I've got for whirly gigs. There's Meccano collars and there's bits tops off plug tops as I've shown in other other videos that you can use for collars. Anything that I think might come in handy I'll just chuck it in here and then it's ready if I ever need it. There's various little washers of different sizes and thicknesses. All comes in handy for whirly gig making. These are some little plates. You'll see these in my other whirly gigs. You, you put those on top of a piece of wood and that, that allows for the rod to run like this down underneath it and keeps it in place. But again, you'll see those in other videos I've done. And uh, I, I just keep anything I think might come in handy. That from an, There's a part from Timmy from one of the other whirly gigs I made. He broke... <laughs> Got to replace him. Oh, there's a little anvil look for another I started making, but then I changed my mind and made it as a one piece rather than having an anvil separate on a block. But I'll say anything I keep, there's bits of old vacuum cleaner in here. These are off a of Hoover Junior and a Senior actually. And I thought, well, I might, it'll do for something. Sometimes it might work for the post to, you know, for the mechanism to, to let it turn. There's a crank, Meccano type crank that might come in handy for something. Oh, I just chuck things in there. That I think might be useful one day as the pattern of one of the Whirly Gig propellers, which is covered in another video. Anyway, I just thought somebody might be interested to see all the bits and pieces I keep. Bye for now.